All right. Now you might see my board is blank. Well, that's because with question number or question five B, there are so many different answers for this one that I can't possibly put them all. Okay. So let's look at five B, and uh, you can use the same strategies I use to see if yours is correct. Explain to Farmer Sarah what shape the pen could be and the measurements of the pen. Well, there's a bunch of an answers for this one because the shape could honestly be any shape. You could make it a triangle like that. You could make it a weird shape like this. You could make it a simple square. There's no one correct answer. I'm actually going to use the ones I have up here just to show you that all of these could be correct. The only thing that matters is that you have a perimeter. And what was a perimeter again? Yeah, a perimeter is the outside needs to be 100 feet. So right now, if you were a little bit confused by this question because you're like, I feel like I don't know where to start. That's great because that just means it's a very open question. So you can kind of start anywhere. So I want you to pause and you can use one of my shapes or one of your own and try it. Okay. All right. Well, this one actually, maybe you figured it out. The easiest thing to do, if all the sides need to be at least 100 feet, it doesn't say it can't be a certain size. You could actually make every side 1 million feet. Okay. Now, is that super realistic for a farm? Mm, you know, there's some pretty big farms down in Texas, but probably not. But for me, I thought, you know what, I'm going to make this pretty easy. I'm going to make this side 120 feet. This side could be... Uh, 213 feet and this side here could be 807 feet okay so does that an enclosed pen is it a shape yes does it is it more than 100 yeah definitely all the sides are actually more than 100 okay but maybe you want to challenge yourself and you're like uh, I don't want it to be too big maybe like you only want it to go to 120 or 150 you want so you want it to be kind of reasonable. So I might make this side like 35 feet, 35. Oh, I need my units. Feet, 35 feet, and 35 feet. If I'm doing that, I'm adding these, and I'm just doing this really quickly. If you want to, you could pause and try to add these up. But I'm just going to kind of show you here because you could have a lot of different answers. 35 is 35 is 70. Two groups of that would be 140 feet. Does that pass the law? Yeah, definitely. All right, this one here. All right. Um, well, let's, first of all, let's count how many sides we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, let me double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. So nine sides. Okay. Well, I don't know. I can make this one 15, 13, 8, 4, 6, 6, 18, 24, 9. Now, I actually don't know. I just made those up. So right now, I want you to pause and see if this one actually fits the regulations or not. Okay? So try that out. See if it works. All right. So here, I'm going to go add these up. Well, 24 and 6, I see those go together. So they're going to be 30. So check, check. 6 and 4, those go together. They make 10. All right, so check and check. All right, 9 and 18, those go together to make 27. Check, check. 15 and 13 go together to make 28. Check, check. And I have that extra 8 here. So let's add these up and see if it made it. So 15 plus 8 is 23. 5, 6, 8, 10. Whoa! Cutting it close, and I did that really fast, so if I made a mistake, go back and check. I might have made a mistake, but I just want to get through it. That one would fit the code if I did it correct. I'm pretty sure I did, but wow, that was close. That was definitely close. All right, so 103 feet. Um, so when you're going through these, yours could have looked like anything as long as it was a uh, shape and it was 100 feet of uh, the outside. What's that called again? Yes, the perimeter. Thank you. So... Awesome job on that one. And you only have one left. Remember, that's stamina. you got to be building it, okay? All right, so right now I want you to get a little wiggle break, okay? Move those shoulders a little bit, all right? Uh, 
Get that, and then now I want you to take three deep breaths. Once you do that, get prepared for the last part. You're in the home stretch, but you gotta give your best effort towards the end because that's when the problem usually gets a little bit tougher. All right, good luck.